Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what a remix is. A remix is a way that a photographer can share their both their original image and their edit, original, edit, original, edit. And the cool thing about it is there's loads of images in here. You can see befores and afters, okay, oh, okay. And the nice thing is when you go into them, it actually shows you all the steps that they've done. I can even hit play and look, it'll take me through all the different steps that that photographer okay, went through to get to their final result. And you can start to see and learn where some of those big changes happen. Okay, so I'm gonna pause that there. You can also see other people that have remixed that exact same image and start to see what they did and how they got to their different results, all listed here gets better you can remix it okay you can go back to that original and make your own adjustments and upload it here's the one we do in this video where is he it's my cat okay here's my as shot and we're going to use the skills we've learned so far in this course to get to here oh mesmerizing cats are awesome remixes are awesome let me show you how to do it in lightroom all right remixes where are they uh they are over here in your photos so p to pop that out under discover there's one called remixes Click on that. So while our remixes, it allows you to edit other people's photographs. Up until now, what we've been doing is grabbing stuff from like that signature edit site and a few other free image libraries or using your own. But sometimes you don't have the chance to, I don't know, find a sunset, okay? Or a building that is really cool. Okay, so you can find other people's images to do it and edit. And that's what a remix is. The original photographer uploads it to this remix here. Here it is here, you can, so me as the photographer can upload an image, okay, and I can share it with other people and say, have a go, have a crack, see what you can do. And you can kind of tell when you hover above these ones, they kind of toggle between the original as shot and the edits, okay, so hover above it, before, well, that's after, before, before, after, so you can start to see, sometimes they're kind of side by side, okay, and sometimes you need to hover above them before, ooh, after, okay, so, yeah, it's really amazing. So up until now, we've been using kind of other people's stuff through signature edits. Now we're gonna start in this course using remixes. Now the thing is, I'm gonna show you the interface here, and I bet you Adobe are waiting just for me to release this video to go and change it all up. That's what they do, okay? Especially with remixes, they're changing this quite a bit mm, because it's new and it's awesome. So the interface might change a bit, but the fundamentals will be the same. So before we go and remix anything, let's have a little look about what's cool about it. I'm gonna use this one here. Yours is not, you know, it's gonna be, different for everybody so just click on one not the remix button but the actual image itself because we're not going to remix it just yet we'll do that in a little bit just click on it and what I like to do is switch it to this view you're going to be defaulted to this view I like to go to this comparison view as shot and this is the original photographer's edit okay so that's the way they got it and that's where they ended up and the cool thing about it is you can play it and watch all their steps can you see and moving down there without me doing anything it's moving through all their edits. So you as a newbie editor can start to see like, oh, where did all of the good stuff come from? Okay. Where is the bits that you might be able to look color mixing? That's what we just did. Oh, they did a lot of color mixing. Okay. Color grading, sharpening. There's going to be things in this list that you don't know about yet because we're going to go through the class still and get to them. You can pause it by clicking it. Okay, you can get it started again by playing it and just have a look. Where is the big adjustments? The tone curve here was a really big one. Okay, we'll look at the tone curve later on. Um, but like temperature, just subtle changes, can you see? And then they get to the color mixes, pause it, just to see what they've done. Oh, they went up 14, <laughs> okay? Or they changed the temperature to this, or I didn't even know there was a color grading option, which we're gonna get to in the course. So it's really nice to see other people's edits. Okay, that's the original edit, but look, all the other people other photographers, other editors who have done a remix on it, there's loads, okay? And you can go through and say, oh, that one looks cool. Wonder how they did it. Play. As shot, cropped it. Profile, tone curve, point curve. <gasps> point curve, what did they do? Temperature, let's do more of that. Okay, and you can kind of get ideas about how other people got to a place. Super handy. Okay, and you can copy them. You can save it as a preset. We'll cover presets a little bit later in the video as a uh, course as well. Okay, but it's just really nice to see how other people got to where they're going. And it's really nice to kind of see that as shot. Okay, the comparison. All right, I'm going to do a remix here now just to kind of take you through it. And in the next video, we'll do a class project where you have to do your own. So the moment you just watch this, so I'm going to go to my remixes. I want to find an image I want to remix. 
and it has a really good search option up here. Up until now, it's been tricky to find good raw images, but now we've got remixes, okay? We can decide, I only wanna show remixables because that's what I want to do, okay? And let's say you wanna pick animals or food or whatever you want, really handy. Okay, you can do more specific searches. You might be, I don't know, it depends. Let's go animals, let's do cats. There we go. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is pick one that I wanna remix, okay? You're gonna be seeing a lot of the edits that people have done. Let's have a look at something. You wait there, I'll pick one. All right, I found one. Uh, <laughs> that took way longer than I thought because I wanna do a demo of like some of the color mixer stuff. So I'm going to remix this one. Okay, so basically it opens up Lightroom with like, like we had shot it, but the original, okay, is uh, Lila and Lindsay Robinson, okay, and this is the as shot. So now I get to start my own edit. So um, I'm gonna do some of this light adjustments, I've done that loads before, so I'm just gonna kind of speed this one up. Okay, and what you might have seen in the speedy version, there's a lots of me going like this all the way. That's what I do a lot in my editing process. I kind of don't do small adjustments. I do big stuff and just see what it does and how much and how far. And then I kind of just get jiggly, jiggly down, <laughs> you know, like I just get lower and lower and lower. Okay, so um, that's gonna be my light adjustments, backslash, backslash. Okay, and now I want to use my color mixer because that's what we practiced before. So I'm gonna use my little target and I'm gonna say actually this, I'm gonna work on hue, no, saturation. I want to make this brighter. So I'm just clicking and dragging it up. Before, after, before, after. Can you see? It's a bit tricky, it's only subtle. Luminance as well. Do I want it to be brighter, darker? Well, I think I want it to be darker and I want the saturation to be higher. Okay, before, after, before, after. Often I just do the eyeball on the color mixer because if I do the backslash, it's gonna do all my tone adjustments. I keep saying tone, it's light, okay? Um, the At the same time, and I feel like it's too big a change. I just wanna see what I'm doing in the color mixer. Okay, and I'm using the target because the target's gonna allow me just to grab specific things. Like I'm gonna grab the eyes and like, what color is that? yellow turns out what is it yellow and a little bit of I don't know what that little dot is too small okay but I'm gonna exaggerate it what are we doing with saturation I can adjust the hue luminance oh, too far Dan too far kind of cool Feel like it needs a vignette. We haven't done vignettes, but I, I think I've thrown this in a few times. It's under effects. Vignettes are cool. Oh, look how more dynamic he looks. <laughs> uh, so that's my remix, okay? Obviously you can go through everything that you've learned so far, and we're gonna go to next, okay? This is the um, name of the image, okay? The original was done like this. We can add any comments, okay? It's a good way to help express what you were trying to do. Okay, I'm gonna post my remix, and it can take a little while for your remix to actually get processed. All right, and that's the first remix on this particular one. Oh no, my one hasn't appeared yet. Let's have a little look. There's one, there's my, my one coming along. So it's just the original photographer's um, remix so far. As shot, and my one will process and be there in a second. All right, so there's my edit. Uh, cool thing about it is you can play it as well and see what you did, even though you were just there. So that's as shot, and you can see it working through over here. Shadows, whites, contrast, blacks. Oh, very cool. Okay, so now to share this with the assignments, okay, in social media, um, there are, you can share the link, okay, but what we're after is before and after photographs, okay, so you're gonna use screenshots, okay. So what we can do is go to the top here, the as shot, and take a screenshot of this. Get this last one, take a screenshot. Okay, and those are the things that you can post. Um, if you make sure you credit the original photographer, okay, so jump in there and figure out who that was, okay, and make sure you credit them if you are posting on social media. Now, in terms of taking a screenshot on a Mac, I know it off by heart, it's Command Shift 4, okay, and you just gotta click and drag and wait for the play button to go away. It does go away eventually, okay, and you end up with a screenshot on your desktop. 
Okay, and then you can go to this last one and do the same thing. Command Shift 4, drag a box around it all and just wait until it goes and you'll have two before and afters to submit on your desktop. On a PC, it's different. You have to check what it is on your version of Windows. Just do a Google screenshot on PC and you can use that to post your before and after. All right, we'll leave that one here. Um, I was gonna show you how to send your own images up. We'll do it in the next video because this one's already too long. Everyone needs a wee break and a cup of tea. You go do that, I'll see you in the next video. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, it helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on, like and subscribe.